All right, we got a pack of cons of Tarkir. We are opening up, seeing what cards I get and which cards I would first pick. Usually it's something aggro related because that's how I like playing. But maybe one day I'll play more blue. All right, Tamagi Skimling. Scheming, scheming, not scheming. There is no L in that at all. I am really tired. Anyway, two mana, one colorless, and a blue for sorcery. You get a look at the top five cards of your library, put any of number of them into your graveyard, and the rest back on the top of your library in any order. Great for, oh, Sultai, look at that. Because delve cards that you don't need, you put them in the graveyard and use them for delve. Yay. Barrage of Boulders, three mana, two colorless, and a red sorcery deals one damage to each creature you don't control. If you have a creature of four power or greater, creatures can't block this turn. That's awesome. Sage Harrier, five mana, four colorless, and a white for one five flying creature. You also bird warrior, so warrior might be significant if you're drafting warriors. It also has a morph cost of four mana, three colorless, and a white. Crippling Chill, 3 mana, 2 colorless, and a blue for an instant top target creature if it it, bleh, it doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step and you get a draw card. 3 mana is kind of expensive for that. Kintree Warden, 1 green, 1-1. One, one. You can pay 2, regenerate it. It also has the morph cost of 1 green, so that's nice. Mardu Skull Hunter, 2 mana, 1 colorless, and a black for a 2-1 human warrior that enters the battlefield tapped. It also has the raid ability, so if you've attacked with a creature that turn um, and it enters the battlefield, you get to um, have your opponent discard a card. Yay. Swiftwater Cliffs comes into play tapped. You gain one life when it enters, and you can tap it for either blue or red mana. Cure her... Cure her Dreadma, five mana, four colorless, and a black for a 4-4 four, four defender. You can pay two mana, one colorless, and a green, sacrifice another creature, and you gain life equal to that sacrifice creature's toughness. So 4-4 four, four defender is pretty awesome. He's also a zombie crocodile. That's pretty cool. How did the crocodile die in the first place is my question, because if he's a 4-4, four, four, that's, yeah. Anyway, questions to be answered later. Abzan Guide. Six mana, three colorless, a white, a black, and a green for a human warrior that is 4-4 four, four and has lifelink. You can also pay its morph cost of two colorless, a white, a black, and a green. So Abzan with a giraffe. He's got a giraffe. That's awesome. Burn away a five mana, four colorless, and a red for an instant. Deal six damage to target creature. When that creature dies this turn, exile all cards from its controller's graveyard. You want to be a jerk to soul tie player using delve? Use this card. It's kind of expensive though. <gasps> this is my card. This is like if I were a card, it would be me. Ruthless lip, uh, ruthless ripper, one black mana for a one one with death touch. I love this. Um, you can also play it as a morph creature. So pay three, put it face down, and then all you have to do is reveal a black card in your hand, and you flip it over, and now they're dealing with a death toucher. Oh, I like this card. I'd first pick it almost always because I like that a lot. So we'll just put it here for special spot. Drop dead, eight, nine, ten mana. Ten mana to kill things, apparently. But nine colorless and a black, you can also pay with delve, so start exiling stuff from your library and it could cost way, way, way less. Target player sacrifices two creatures. So ten mana to sack two creature. Yes. So if you have ten mana, that's great. If not, just start exiling cards you're not going to be using anyway because they're in the graveyard and you can pay for it. That's nice. All right. Oh, well, we have a Bloodstained Mar, um, fetch land. Yay. I need these. I need all of them. So, okay. Yeah. Um, tap it, pay one life, sack it, go find a swamp or a mountain, put it on the battlefield and shuffle the library. Great and modern and all the good things. Um, I also have a foil dragon throne of Tark here. Okay. This pack, this pack's really, really good. I like it. So, uh, four colorless mana for a legendary artifact equipment. Equipped creature has defender, and you can pay to tap it. Other creatures you control gain trample and get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is this creature's power. And it costs three to equip it. Um, I'm first picking Bloodstained Mire purely for value. Um, because I need those, and it's I need them because I don't have any for my modern deck. But 
creature, other card wise, I'm going with Ruthless Ripper. I already told you how much I love this card, and it's a human 1 1 Death Toucher with a surprise factor in it. I like it a lot. But let me know which card I should pick in the comments below. Um, uh, which one would you pick too? Like this video and subscribe for more.